What's going on everybody? Adam here with E-Trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kuat Sherpa on our 2021 Chevrolet Tahoe. So if you're looking for an extremely good looking rack, this is going to be one that has a lot of different color options for you and it really looks good in all of them in my opinion. This one is gunmetal gray, but we're also going to have one in black and pearl. I really like pearl. It would go really good with this white Tahoe and it is going to have a two inch shank so make sure you have a two inch hitch receiver if you have a smaller one we do have those on our website as well but this is going to be a great rack for your carbon fiber bikes as it does use a wheel hook and it's not really going to be for your heavier bikes we're going to have about 40 pounds per bike and it is going to be decent for some of your kiddos bikes but we will have to get an adapter as of right now we can fit a wheel diameter of 25 to 29 inches but an adapter is going to bring it all the way down to 20 to 24 inches all in all i definitely like it it comes with all the things i really look for in a rack one is the tilting feature so there's a little lever here pull this down and we don't have any clearance issues but we will have to pull back on this just a little bit just to get the hatch completely open but that's gonna be just depending on what kind of bikes you have I just had to pull it back a little bit but this way you don't have to take your bikes off to access the back which is always a plus especially if you're traveling you don't want to take your bikes off in a random state in a random gas station parking lot they might run off so that's always a plus all we got to do is just pick it back up for it to snap into place and the nice thing about this is we do get a cable lock with this rack and it's gonna fit right here. We have a little key. So they're gonna be locked onto the rack, which is always a plus. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rack itself. We're gonna have 47 inches of maximum wheelbase and the maximum tire width is gonna be three inches as well. So not really great for your fat tire bikes or your heavier bikes, of course. So I always start with the little strap here as it doesn't really hold the bike upright just kind of helps with that vertical movement so now when we go up to here we want to make sure we put our hand on our bikes pressing this big knob super easy fold it out and then we can take our bike off the rack now we can get a better look at the rack itself whenever we're not using it we'll just take this hook bring it back over bring it in. I like to put this back and this cradle does pivot which is always a plus so it's going to get that right fitment for whatever kind of bike you throw at it and then we do want to fold this down just like that. So let's do some measurements with any hitch mounted accessory we are going to add a little bit of length to the back of the vehicle on our Tahoe from the bumper to the farthest most point it's going to be about 32 inches and then at that 32 inch point we're going to have plenty of ground clearance. It's going to be about 29 inches of ground clearance and there's plenty because it does have quite a decent rise in the shank. So let's go ahead and fold this up, get some more measurements. When it's like this, from the bumper to our anti-rattle knobs, it's going to be about 15 and a half inches. And that's not a whole lot of distance. So if you're in a parking garage or something like that, you don't really have to worry about someone hitting it or anything like that. We do have a backup camera on the Tahoe. It is going to be visible in our rear view mirror, but it's not gonna completely take away all of our vision. We're gonna be able to see past it, but just be mindful that it will block just a little bit and our rear sensors will go off whenever we put it in reverse. So taking a look down at the anti-rattle as we tighten it, so you can see this, but as we tighten it, it takes all of that shake and play out, which is always a plus. It's a straight shank leading out to this, and it does come with a hitch lock, which is always nice, and it is gonna be key to like with our bike cables. So, like I said, comes with everything I really look for, a lock for the rack, a lock for your bikes, so everything's gonna be nice and safe. Regardless of what color you go with, it's gonna be a really good looking rack and a great way to get two bikes to and fro. Again, this was the Kuat Sherpa on our 2021 Chevrolet Tahoe. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. 
This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or uneven pavement. And last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway.